If we look at what happens as we age, it's multifactorial, but there are two components to aging. Intrinsic aging is simply the chronological passage of time. So each day we wake up, each day we're a day older, that's intrinsic aging. That's something that's beyond our control. If we look at extrinsic aging, that has a greater role in what happens to us as we age. And that is anywhere uh, from ultraviolet radiation exposure, tanning bed exposure, smoking, pollution. And so if we look at what our parents told us and what we want as we grow older, we want to become smarter, more mature, and unfortunately the, the scales kind of tilted against us over time. And so some of the take home message tonight is how can we combat and prevent some of these changes as well. This is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is what I love. If I, if I were to sit here on a one-on-one -on -one basis with, with any of you, my number one focus would be to type your skin, figure out what you're doing correctly and what you're doing incorrectly, and to assess the amount of damage that you're walking in with. If you look at this 19-year-old up here in this picture, and you try to tell that 19-year-old that she's got sun damage, she's going to look at you and think you're crazy. You take that 19-year-old into a dark room and you shine a woods light on her skin, and you can show that already at the age of 19, there's a lot of damage that's been done to the skin. There's a lot of freckles over the entire face, and she, this is yet before she shows any other signs that we would cl classically know of as aging skin. So we, we do know that 90% of the visible changes that we see on the skin are caused by the sun. And that's interesting because patients will often say, well, I was born with freckles. And actually, if that young lady had been born with freckles at the time of birth, we would have been in the hospital doing a consultation because there are genetic abnormalities that cause that. But most people are not born with the freckles. So the freckles they have in childhood is already evidence of damage that they've received in childhood. If you look at this poster, and this is great, this is from the United Kingdom's campaign for sun smart safety. Again, if you take someone when they're younger and you try to explain to them that what they're doing and the path that they're on is going to cause them to age quickly, it's hard for them to fathom that. But truly, when I see patients, a lot of times they're at this point. They've got the brown spots, the lines, the wrinkles, the skin doesn't have a nice glow to it, it doesn't look healthy. And they come in thinking that this is all age-related. And as we know, we said there's intrinsic aging, which would have just been their age. And then there's extrinsic aging, which has to do with all the sun that they've been exposed to. And it's a continuum. Everything adds one on top of the other. And all of that contributes to the aging and the risk for skin cancer. So it's not like you can just say, well, I'm, I'm going to avoid sun tanning and sun burning, but then still be in a polluted environment. And that's why groups such as this are fantastic, and the groups such as the EWG is fantastic, because we need to make sure that everything that we're exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis is not going to harm us in the long term.